Hello Pimili and welcome to another Airsoft game. This is Uber Awesome RM and now we are playing in 6G. This is a short game. Um, I'm using my pistols, um, WE1911 and my KJW MK1. So I noticed that uh, someone is uh, hiding on that pallet and uh, I'm trying my best not to get hit and shoot through those opening holes on that pallet. On these game side, we don't really encourage hit calling, so Whoa. especially in this scenario, um, so I decided to move forward and as much as possible get a clean hit on my enemy's vest. So that is legend. So this is a change court. Um, so at this point, uh, I'm pretty much aware uh, or I'm already familiar with all the players and the enemy. So um, I tried to warn my teammate, but apparently Chris is fast, fast enough to get a good position and hit my teammate. So uh, I was not lucky that time. So I was able to notice that someone is hiding in the staircase, in the lower level of the staircase. I tried to give sit rep to my teammates. So I'm not really good in positioning myself on my left side <laughs> so that's really a lucky shot that's why I giggled like a bitch so this is a deathmatch kinda So we're starting in the first and we're starting on the third pallet and the enemy is on the first pallet. So that's what she said. So since I'm, I'm a regular player of these game side I know um, some of the players strategy and their move speed those kind of things so it's really essential uh, knowing that that is already down so the second pilot is clear and uh, at this point I feel a little bit guilty shooting someone in the head that's why it's really recommended to wear head protection helmet or even a bonnet on this type of situations so 
I know that someone's still hiding. So I thought he's not hit. Uh, I do apologize for that. I think I overshot him. But it is what it is. So again, this is another game. Pretty much I did the same tactics and someone committed the same mistake. He thought he's well he thought that he's well hidden and it turns out he ends up scratching his head as well. So at this point I'm I'm really having a blast playing using my, both of my pistols and uh, I'm really on a roll in terms of using pistols I'm not really a pistol guy but it's really fun uh, being able to move around and do cornering it cornering easily so Chris was able to run on my left side and enter the second room and got me but I returned the favor right away hey hey we have several change ports um, same short scenario I was able to take Chris down and at this point I'm having really a good uh, kill streak I feel like my gun is on a flying trace mode So that's my teammate Vin and uh, LS. Well, that's me. I love my gun. So these scenario, I'm the only one left. Uh, I believe there are possibly two or three enemies. Uh, so I decided to hide in the small table and wait for the enemy to rush me. Unfortunately, I was not able to take down Chris, and Vin got me on the right side. So this is a very good example why flashlight is really advantageous in some situation, even if it's broad daylight, it can still affect your 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 vision or your line of sight or engagement with your opponent if he's using flashlight so if you can invest on that um, that's really a good addition to your arsenal so in that previous video I died on that trying to move to skate park and now I saw Chris running upstairs and I just wait for the perfect opportunity uh, wait for him to go down and shoot his leg. So, after I saw Vin sitting on the sideline, I pretty much know that there's only one opponent left. So, that flashlight, uh, I was able to determine his current position and decided to peek out. So it can be a pros and cons. It gives her position as well. So now we're playing a blue room to chem lab scenario. I tried to take a peek in the yellow room and make sure that no one crosses. And after making sure that the yellow room is clear, I decided to go to the ridge and take out enemies from that angle. So I decided to take a different angle
can still see someone hiding on that room. So I'll try to change my shooting angle so that it somewhat confuses the enemy. Push, push. So I give signal to my teammates to push and assist me in this particular position. So I'm still engaged. Not really engaged, but engaged in this part. I'm not sure if I got him. But I'm pretty certain that I was shot at this point, so that, that's the enemy that got me. So again, this is Uber Awesome RM. Thank you for watching, and remember, aim high, shoot low, explode outside.